guys, Jasmine here to film a wrap up for the month of October. Um, I had like two weed stack setbacks. I'm not sure like what happened. I just got, I didn't get lost. I just had like, I had a really big two weed stack that I didn't have the chance to finish. And so I had this two weed stack for the month of October and I didn't even touch it, which is absolutely like failure for me. Like I read 10 books. I just, I just overestimated or I don't know, but, um, I'm going to make that my two-week stack for the month of November and hope that I can manage to read them. Um, I really want to read them, all of the books. There are, a lot of them are from Austin Hill Book Festival, and I'm really excited to read some of them, or all of them, or, yeah, pretty much all of them. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what they are, and um, I went into detail about them in my last video, so I'm not going to be like, oh, well, it's this book, and it's by this author, and, like, I'm just going to show you the stack, okay? Here it is. There's like seven of them and I'm just really, really excited to read them. Like I've been waiting for lots of those books. And um, I can tell you guys what I got read this month. I think I got 10 or last month. I had 10. What did it, let's see, where did it start? So I started with the review book called Shiloh by Helena Sorensen something like that. That one was pretty good. I probably got four stars. I don't remember, like, right off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I got four stars. And then I read The Collector and the Liberator by Victoria Scott back to back. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I finally read them. I have been debating whether or not I was going to read it because the series is popular and it's just like, it didn't really seem like my kind of book, but it was really good and I'm like the biggest fan now. And then I read another review book called Shadow by Olivia Cooper. And then I read Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan, and oh my god, you guys, you have not read that book. It, like, messed with my emotions, it touched my heart, it was perfect, it was beautiful, and I could think girl about it forever, and it's just something that you should definitely go read, because it was amazing. <laughs> and then I read Rory by Sai Cho, I don't know how she says her name, but that was another review book, and it was like a, it was like fairies, but Alice in Wonderland kind of weird but it was pretty good that one also has four stars and then I read Asylum by Madeline Rocks um I was reading that for a guest post for a blogger of mine a friend she was doing like this Halloween thing so I read um a scary book and I read a scary book and I'm sure if you look hard enough you could find that post it's on runsrambles.blogspot.com if you guys want to go read them um it was pretty scary and, um, that one also has four stars. And then I read The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. And let me just take a second to fangirl because I have been waiting for that book forever. And, yeah, it killed my heart. And it was, it was hard to get through. But it was amazing, as always. And I missed my babies. So I was really glad to read it. And then I read Allegiant by Veronica Roth, which is the last book in the Divergent series. And I'm... I'm still, my heart's still kind of hurting if you guys have read the book, or even if you haven't, like, just be that, that it's the last book and the series is over, like, I'm gonna miss the story, and if you have read the book and you know, then, yes, there's been a lot of controversy over what happened and how she ended it, but I've seen, I thought it was perfect, and I've seen a lot of talk, and there's some things that were said, like, something John Green said, it was like, you know, they're writing books for they're writing their story and you know we don't pick how they're gonna end it so she ended it the way that the story was meant to end and it did fit the story and if like you didn't like it I mean I can understand that like it was it was something that was a little interesting but it didn't not fit the story and it's not our story to tell so this like it's, there's just so much controversy going on right now about it and I just think it's that it's not that big of a deal like she it's her book she ended it and it was amazing and I, the ending was also amazing, even though it kind of hurt. And then I read... Oh, this is the last book I read. All I Yesterday is by Kristen Terrell. Okay, that book, like, I wasn't really interested in it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't. And I didn't really know what it was about, and I just... It was on my stack, and I picked it up, and... Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. It was, like, ama it was amazing. Like, it was about time travel, and it, like wrap these two stories together like perfectly and like whoa whoa dude whoa it was amazing like wow and that is the last book that i read in the month of october so i think that's 10 i'm not sure let's count ready 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10. Perfect. And um, I'm kind of proud. You know, those were some amazing books. I had a pretty good reading month even though I didn't manage to touch my two read stock. That is okay. And I got lots of review books. And um, there's a couple books that there's, I think there's two that I know of. There's more. I know that there's more, but Sentinel just came out, which is Last Look in the Covenant series by Jennifer Armentrout, and Champion came out by um, Marie Lou. It's the last book in the Legend series, and I haven't picked up either of them, but I am desperately waiting till I can buy them. I'm so excited. Those are both the last books, so it's kind of sad, but I'm really excited to finally be able to read them. I'm like, especially Sentinel because that series has been, it's been part of me for a long time and I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye yet. And when it comes to Champion, the ending of Prodigy was just intense. So I need to go pick those up. I don't really know if anything else is coming out. I don't know of anything else that's coming out. If you guys know something, you know, be sure and leave me, leave me a note in the comments to tell me what it is. And that is all I have for you guys today. So I will see y'all next month. Oh, wait, the vlogiversary. Our vlogiversary is coming up. So y'all should um, be sure and keep an eye out for that. We're going to have a big post and a big giveaway. It's our two year vlogiversary. So y'all keep an eye out for that and keep an eye out for my reviews for whatever I'm reviewing at the current moment. I'm just way too behind to say, like, you know, some of the books I showed you should have a review. Yeah, no. I don't know what's going to go up at any time because I'm behind. Okay, bye guys.